In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus FeCl3, sodium hydroxide plus iron 3 chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have three hydroxide ions here and just one here. So I need to put a three in front of the sodium hydroxide. Now I have three sodium atoms. I have three chlorine atoms. So I could just put a three here. Irons are balanced as well. We're done. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. It's also a strong electrolyte, and it's going to dissociate into its ions. Iron 3 chloride, chlorides are very soluble. Put an aqueous, another chloride with sodium chloride. For the iron 3 hydroxide, hydroxides in general are insoluble. There are some exception elements in group 1, like sodium and potassium, lithium. Those are soluble, but most of them are insoluble. So we're going to call this a solid. Since it's insoluble, it'll be a solid. And when these compounds react, it'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. Sodium on the periodic table group 1 has a 1 plus hydroxide. Always has that negative charge. Three sodium ions. And I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Three hydroxide ions. And then we don't know the charge on the iron, but we know that the chloride ion here, this chlorine, that's always 1 minus. So since we have three of them, this has to be 3 plus. That's why we called it iron 3 chloride. So we'll have Fe3 plus, that's the iron 3 ion, plus three of these chloride ions, 3Cl minus. Those are our reactants. In the products, we said this was plus and minus three sodium ions and three chloride ions. For the iron 3 hydroxide, since it's a solid, we're not going to split that apart. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so that's just FeOH3. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. So in the reactants, I can see three sodium ions. In the products, there are also three sodium ions. So we'll cross those out. In the reactants, I have those three chloride ions, and then in the products. And what's left is the net ionic equation for NaOH plus FeCl3. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus iron 3 chloride. You'll notice that charge is balanced. I have three negative charges, three positives. They cancel out. I have a neutral compound here. I also have the same number of each type of atom on both sides, so that's balanced as well. We'll often see the positive ion placed first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter. It does look a little nicer, I guess. Either way, it's the same net ionic equation. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for NaOH plus FeCl3. Thanks for watching.